What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another ARC story episode for you guys today. And uh, today guys, we're going to be heading up to the Lunar Biome to try and get some Ambergris. Now our Magma Saws that we hatched last episode um, are cryed up now. They've come up to their first imprinting and we pretty much cried them up because they all wanted Ambergris. Uh, except for one which wanted to walk, but I decided not to do that and just cried it up anyway. So I'm going to head up to the Lunar Biome today. I have not been up here in a very, very, very long time. I'm just seeing if we need any other hazmat armor. I don't think we actually have any more hazmat armor, so we should be alright. Let's, um... Where's the best spot to teleport? Probably here. I don't think... I don't know if I take a tame with me. You know what i might take my theory but i know i'm pretty sure they take burn damage up there or something um we do have the anki cryed up and ready to go so we can bring that guy back um with us um but yeah i'm a bit worried about bringing tames because i'm pretty sure they take radiation damage oh that was close um i'm pretty sure so let's teleport to luna south i guess We'll see what happens. I don't know if our hazmat gear actually protects us from any of the radiation up there anyway. I don't even know. Um, it has been super long since I've actually been to the lunar biome. But we'll take our theory with us. Hopefully this guy can keep us protected enough. Because I know there's a bunch of like tech trikes and tech gigas. And all the tech stuff lives up in the lunar biome. So I'm hoping we'll be alright. But we'll find out in just a jiffy when we get up there. But if you guys find yourselves enjoying the video today, please... Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps out the channel. Um, so yeah, we're going to hopefully try and get these magma saws hatched... Not hatched up, sorry. Uh, fully grown today, I'm hoping. I'm praying. I'm hoping. I mean, I think we'll be able to do it. But I'm hoping we get enough Ambergus in order to do so. Because we do have to raise three of them. Yeah, we... Why is our theory so heavy? We do have to raise three magma saws, so it might be a little bit difficult. Why is this? Oh, because we're on the... It's knocking us back so much. Come on. Okay. I should just come up here for electronics. All right. Um, let's drop all that, all that, all that, all that. What is hitting us? All right. We're taking damage. Let's go melee damage on that. So we need to get in here and out of here quick. So we need to find the green glowy rocks. Hey, look at that. There's some right here. All right. I'm going to deal with these Rexes over here real quick. That we don't have to worry about fighting them while we're trying to harvest up all the ambergris. But yeah, I'm just going to come up here for all the electronics. Because it's super easy to farm them. I didn't realize that everything was tech. I thought some of the stuff... Oh shit, no, 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 no. We don't want to go off the edge here. I thought some of the stuff was tech. I didn't realize all of it was. Or well, majority of it anyway. Kill this stego because it's pretty low already. Yeah, we definitely don't want to go off the edge here because that will mean a very solid goodbye to our theory. Um, I'll take the oil as well. Where are the electronics? Take all the electronics for sure. All right, cool. All right, so we've got a bunch of rocks over here that we can mine for ambergris. So, oh god. Oh, we don't have an Anki saddle. Are you kidding me right now? We don't have an Anki saddle for it? Alright, we're going to have to go back to base, grab an Anki saddle, and we'll come back for it. Because, yeah, we, we need to come back. We can't mine stuff without having an, an Anki saddle. Alrighty, guys, we're back. We've just gotten our first bunch of Ambergris. we got five Ambergris. I don't want any of this junk. We just want really the Ambergris. Uh, but it's got a spoil time of an hour and 20 minutes. Um, just drop the rest of this. We don't really have time to mess around because all our dinos are taking damage. We're taking damage. So we're just trying to need to get the ambergris and get out of here. Condensed gas. I did not know you could mine that. I don't know how much we're actually going to need for our tames either. For the magma source, But I'd rather have extra and not have to... Jesus Christ, we got a lot of wood out of those as well. We should be okay. I didn't realize you could get contested gas up here. Pretty cool. Kind of want to live up here now. Not going to lie. I'm trying to get that rock. Alright, we got some more ambergris. Give me all of that. I oh, will take the condensed gas as well. 
This could be refined back into its gaseous form. Um, I'll take the shards. I don't think we need any of this other stuff, though. I, I would say that's probably enough ambergus, though, to be honest. Right, let's... Oh, God, this always makes me super nervous. All right, our teams are okay. Let's put this ambergris in here. It's got a 20-minute spoil timer in our inventory. Bloody hell. Alright, let's do that, and what we'll do is we'll get our Anki and we'll come over here. And we'll mine some more real quick, because there's a bunch of it here. You know what I might do? I might start the Helena teleport, and then by the time we teleport back, we should be okay. Helena? No, that's the wrong one. Biome, ocean, east. Alright, get us out of here. Anki, mate, you keep harvesting up. And we can just teleport back with all this stuff in our inventory. And then we literally won't have to worry about going out and harvesting anything for a very long time. Because look at all the thatch, wood, and stone, and metal, and ambergris we're getting. So I think this is probably the best course of action. And we can kind of just leave our Anki up on the island while we, uh... Yeah, look at all the shit we just got. Okay. Done. I'm happy with that. We just got pretty much, I would say, all the ambergris we're going to need. Um, we just have to be mindful because it does spoil but we should be able to use most of it to raise these guys up in an hour i would say an hour would be enough time did our theory come back with us yes it did sweet all right we'll get you to sit here i'll take some of this ambergris i guess all right that should be enough let's come back down to our magma saws i apologize for everything not rendering in it's just what happens when we're teleporting all right let's throw our magma saws out uh, as soon as I find them. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give and thank you. I'm going to raise one uh, probably here. Oh, it's like, where to go? Wants to cuddle? I can cuddle. Alright, cool. So they get 10% imprinting off one thingy, so we should be able to get 100% imprinting, if not like 99. Cuddle. Awesome. Because I'm pretty sure they'll either want to cuddle, a walk, or ambergris. I don't really want to take it for a walk, though. Yeah, I don't think we'll take it for a walk. But we should be able to raise these guys today. Um, you can come over here to this side, mate. I do need to get some food into them, though. Ambergris. All right, we can do that. So my quick question is, as well, does this give it food? Yes, it does. All right. You enjoy all of that, mate. I don't know how much you're going to get out of that, but it should be alright. We can always go back and get some more anyway. Um, at least we know we can just teleport to south and, and do it from there. Um, but I wasn't expecting to get as much as we got. I didn't think we were going to get all of that. Alright, you take all of that, mate. And then, lucky last, you take all of this. Okay. So it's already started eating, so... It should be alright. I think we'll be okay. Let's get our normal armor back on. Cool. Alright, awesome. So they're going to raise up. They want another thing in 13 minutes. But at least we got food. Let's go take a look at our Anki and actually see just how much stuff we actually brought back with us. Because I have a feeling our Anki is pretty damn heavy at the moment. Shit ton of ambergris. Lots of flint. Quite a bit of stone. Lots of thatch and wood. Wonderful. Alright, um, what I might do... I might make a saddle for our Bacillosaurus. And then we might cruise around the ocean and see if we can do a couple of mission, missions and stuff like that so that we can get a few hexagons and everything. Um, I think that's probably our best course of action. So let's make a saddle for our Bacillosaurus, the one that's hopefully still over there, and we'll bring you guys back when we got that. Alrighty, guys, we're cruising around the ocean trying to find uh, our Bacillosauruses. And we did just find our, uh, our other ones, the ones that we didn't breed. So these are the normal ones normal wild ones and I found a couple of them so we've got three of them back I think I'm trying to get this one over here there we go we got that all right so we've also got a mega chelon behind us I don't know if you guys saw it it is only level 45 though so half of me is like do we bother taming this up or do we look for something else it's also in a pretty annoying position um, but yeah these aren't our imprinted ones so I need to try and find our imprinted one because we had two of those babies so I don't know where they are but, yeah, I think we need to find them. I kind of want to take this mega chillin. I don't know if we'll be able to find a parrot swarm, though. That's the other thing as well. Um, I'm going to spend a bit of time looking for our other Bacillosauruses, because, yeah, it wasn't where we left it. Um, something's probably attacked it. 
And I think going forward, I will probably just cryo them up. Uh, because it's definitely going to be a lot easier than freaking scouring the entirety of the ocean looking for it. Um, so I'm going to see if we can find it. I'll bring you guys back if I have any luck. Alrighty guys, I found the rest of our Basilosauruses. So, I'm assuming we just found a 209, which I think is the other baby. And then that's the, that, that's the other fully grown baby as well. Uh, that one's just got a bunch of levels in it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to leave these guys on follow for this guy. And then what I'll do is I'll try and get like a fairy or something to get this Bassy to follow it, so that, that way if they get dislodged by Vortexes or Megalodon decides to come along and smack them, we can, uh, it'll come straight back to base sort of thing, I think, I hope. Um, so that's what we'll try and do. We can kill this one, maybe one. But yeah, I think that's our best way to try and get these guys back to us, but I'm going to still park them over here. Alright, so who we got up here? We got our Giganto Vortex, which actually... Thank you for the boost. That was very appreciated. Can I make it up here? Huh. Okay, no. That's fine. If they just chill there for a second, what we'll do is we'll come over here. Hold on. That Bacillosaurus is following us. We don't want that because it'll get swept up in this bloody vortex. Okay. Let's come up here for our Gigantopithecuses. Excuse me. Excuse me, most shops. Oh my god, seriously? We're going to get caught in this vortex, aren't we? Just ignore it. We'll be fine. All right. We should be okay. Let's come up here. We'll grab our Gigantopithecus. I need to move you. You're annoying. Uh, grab a Gigantopithecus. And we'll get that Bazzy to follow the Gigantopithecus. This guy right here. Hey, big fella. How we doing? Uh, that one. Okay. So this should hopefully mean that this guy will be okay. We're going to change his behavior to passive as well, and that should be fine. Alright, so, that's all our Bazzies sorted. Well, I mean, majority of them. Where is the baby? This one here. So, we want to take this one out for a spin. That's what we made the saddle up for. Let's get that onto you. And drop all that crap. It sucks that we don't have a better saddle for it, but eh, it's fine. Alright, melee damage. That's good. Let's jump on you. And what we need to do is we just need to get you to stop following. And now we're good. Alright, cool. So, I might try and do some underwater missions. I might, I'm thinking we do that too so one. I don't know. That did take us quite a bit of time to do. We're okay in terms of gas though. Like, uh, oxygen. We don't need any oxygen. We think we're fine. Alright, let's surface up here. Can I do the... Is it sea or is it space? How do we do it? I did it for the thumbnail. Can we jump? No. Alright, apparently not. Let's come down here. We need to get some food first. Oh, who knows? We might even find a Mega Chelon actually. That's the 45 one. Alright, let's just try and... There's a mission around here somewhere. I know there was. There's two of them. Three of them, actually. Let's come over here. See what we can take on. Surely if we can take on a Tuso, we can take on a Moza, right? Here we go. This one here. What's this one? What are you? Rip it, roll it, and punch it. What does that mean? What do we... Let's rip it, roll it, and punch it. A group of sea turtles. Oh, I mean, let's try it again. Oh, I don't know if this is going to go through ours. Hide and sink. The Moser proposal. Let's do the Moser proposal. I'm going to do the Moser proposal uh, because I think we can do that one. I think that's the one over near our base. I don't know if the gamma rewards on this one are worth it, but we're going to need to do it anyway. So I think I might just do the Moser one. Because uh, I have a feeling it's going to be very similar to the Tuso one. And we did handle the Tuso one pretty well, I would say. Let's just get some fish meat here. So we can survive. I'm pretty sure this is the Moser one here. The Moser proposal. Let's do the Moser proposal. We'll start this one. Uh, I don't think it'll be harder than the Tuso. Uh, total tracks found. Alright, can you scan for me, Helena? Uh, so I'm assuming it's the same way as the Tuso, maybe? I'm just not seeing any more tracks. There it is. Okay, so we gotta go which way? Down this way. 
Do I have to click on the track? Okay, hold on now. Just come up here for a bit. Alright, so yeah, it looks like it's the same way as the two, so. It just looks like we kind of have to um, hit the arrows as well. We should be okay. I don't think we're going to struggle to kill this guy. I suppose we'll find out in a second anyway, won't we? I'm going to need to get some more oxygen though. We should be alright. We're not taking damage just yet, but uh, we're going to follow these tracks. And hopefully they lead us to the Moza. I'm hoping we don't have to fight it in the depths. Like we do with the Tuso, because that was... It wasn't tough, but it was a bit worrying, because... Of the fact... Well, there's that in there. Moser, or is that the, the ex Moser we're supposed to be hunting down? Because if that's a Moser, yeah, that's the Moser. Alright, how hard do you hit for, big fella? Not very hard. Oh my god, this thing's easy to kill. This thing's easier than the two, so. If it's like this, we can probably kill the, the beta. Maybe I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but yeah, I feel like we can probably kill the beta. Bring like an extra Bacillo with us as well. He's running away, so I'm assuming we just have to wait for the tracks to come up. Plus, we, we're just getting more levels here anyway. Do I follow it, or do we just wait? I'm going to follow it, but we need to get some oxygen first. Cool. Alright, let's keep going then. I don't see the track. I'm going to come back to this one, and we'll just circle around. But yeah, if we can kill the, the Gamma one this easy, I have a feeling we could probably do the Beta. Um just as easy and it does not look like we have to go to the depths so we're going to take a lot less damage as well which is really good so I think after this we'll try and do the beta alright we just found the Moza but there's uh, a couple of friends that he brought along with him oh my god there is a lot of friends that he brought along with him this is not going to lie a little scary we've got a Tuso here as well but uh, that's only like a level 20 I think I was actually going to try and tame it up luckily it can't grab us I don't know where the Moza is there he's there We've got to kill everything else first. There's the two so dead. We've got some eels coming in. I'm definitely super glad that we are on a, a Bacillosaurus for this. Get some food here. Keep fighting. I can't see what's going on. Alright, we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Moza now. Is this the level 50 female? Yeah. I don't know if we bother with this or if we just keep going. Because it's actually chunking us pretty hard. Let's just keep going here. Just ignore it. Tracks. There's the tracks. This is genuinely spiking my fear up though because I am terrified of the ocean. The deep ocean anyway. Alright, he's going deep here by the looks of it. We're going to start taking damage here from the ocean depths. Yeah, that Moses is still coming after us. It looks like I might have to fight it, but I don't have much stamina. You know what, I might give some points into stamina. I'm just going to get the stamina back for a second. Alright. I don't really want to go through that vortex though. And I definitely think we bring um, extra bacillos on this next one. I don't know if I can swim through that. But it looks like this is telling us to go up. I'm not seeing any more tracks. Okay, it's saying to go forward. I'm just trying to backtrack here. Okay, it's saying to go forward here. Is he, like, supposed to appear here or something? And I just haven't gotten the tracks, is that why? Do I need a certain amount of them? Possibly. Looks like I might have to backtrack then. Which is kind of annoying and dumb. Because I still followed the tracks. Alright, 
Alright, but I'm not getting any more here. Oh yeah, there's one. Alright, let's let's come back down. I don't know. I don't know if it's because I haven't gotten enough trucks. What is this location thing for? Oh, is that? I think, yeah, I think that's what it must have been. We just didn't have enough tracks and it wasn't spawning in. Because I'm assuming... Yeah, here it is. Oh, we got to fight a live Pluridon too. Alright, well, let's just kill the Brute Moser. I don't know where the live Pluridons are. Oh, they're down the bottom there. Oh, they're right here. Here we go. They're not going to be too much of an issue, I don't think. This bloody Moser is the main issue. The freaking normal wild one. Can't kill this thing, it's got, it's just got so much health. Alright, there goes the first live Pluridon. I'm pretty sure they give us quite a lot of XP as well. Alright, second one, and now we just need to kill the Brute Moser. Which, yeah, should not be too hard. He's pretty much dead. I reckon we could probably do the beta with our other baby Moser that raised up. The imprinted one. We could probably take the wild ones that we take up too, I guess, but they wouldn't do as much damage. So maybe we'll just kill this C. Let's see. Kill it. But it's definitely easier than the two, so. Alright, killed it. Got the loot. Let's get out of here because we are about to drown. Did that actually give us oxygen? I've never done that before. The bubble. I didn't know swimming through the bubbles gave you oxygen. That's sick. That's actually really cool. I did not know that you could do that. Alright, cool. Um, I don't know how long this oxygen lasts for. But we're going to surface here. I've got to take a look at the loot that we got. But I just want to surface to get away from this Moza and stop taking damage. We are eventually going to tame some Mosas as well, I think. Because they are probably what we use for Moda. Um, just based off the fact that we can't really bring an army of Bacillos. Because they won't listen to us because of the damage they take. Um, hold on. There's one down there. So level 50 we were just fighting. There's the normal one. Level 60. Alright. Cool. But yeah, I didn't realize we got oxygen bubble off that. Alright, let's take a look at the loot we got. We got a dye bear saddle, some chitin boots, dodic saddle, a gas mask, some hazmat. Ooh, mining drill, baby. Let's go. Apprentice mining drill. Awesome. A bunch of tech gloves. Uh, Paresa saddle, uh, Marai gear, rhino saddle. Bunch of, yeah, a bunch of tech gloves. We got a mining drill though. I'm happy with that. That's super sick. I'm glad we got the mining drill. That'll really help us out when we go to uh, to, to mine up some metal. Because we can use that on the Bloodstalker, I'm pretty sure. So it'll weigh down. It'll make us a lot um, a lot lighter. So I might do the beta one. I might give that a shot and we'll bring some extra baz bazzies with us. Um, I just need to figure out where our base is. I'm pretty sure this is the back end of our base anyway. Possibly, maybe. No, this is it. I could always just track the missions, I guess. Yeah, that bubble must have just given us oxygen until we surfaced, I guess. That was really cool. I didn't know you could do that. Our Bazzi has some levels. Five more levels. Let's go melee damage. I'm going to have to pump some uh, raw meat into this guy, though, to, to deal with the health loss that he suffered. Um, rip it, roll it, and punch it. The Moser proposal. Track that. Okay, we've got to go this way. I want to swim through this again and see what happens. Does it give us an oxygen bubble? It sends us to the surface. But it did give us an oxygen bubble. But yeah, look, we've got the oxygen bubble still on us. That's actually really cool. I did not know that. Alright. We're going to check the ma uh, magma source. To make sure they're okay. Let's park you here, big fella. So I can see you. I've got to drop this loot off as well. And then, yeah, I think we'll do the beta one. What is going on? Are we stuck? Oh, we got the bubble, that's why. I think we'll try and do the beta one. See if we get any better loot off that. But yeah, magma stores are ready for another imprint. So let's come over here, climb up that. And we'll keep an eye out on their food. I don't think they're going to need any more ambergris. Cuddle, awesome, I'll take it. We did miss a little bit of an imprinting, so we might only get 90% imprinting. Cuddle, awesome, come on. Last one, give us a cuddle. You want to cuddle, mate? Beautiful. Are you guys looking for food? Yeah, they still got a little bit of ambergris in them. All right. Let's drop this gear off. Super stoked we got a mining drill, though. That's going to make our life a lot easier. Um, I don't really need that. Uh, I'll keep the boots. Do I have any boots on? 
No, we don't. Alright, let's do that. Put that away. Drop that. I don't need that crap. Drop. Put that away. Scuba flippers are a good call. I'll keep those with us. Let's put all this tech stuff away. Um, actually, no, I'll put these on. 441, highest armor. We don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need that, that. Um, we'll keep the flippers, actually, with us. Drop that off. I'm really keen about this mining drill. Awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Let's chuck these on. There we go. And we can just drop this stuff off in here. Not really going to be using all of that. Alright, cool. Let's go do the beta one. I'm going to force feed our Bacillosaurus some raw meat. And there's a whirlpool bloody foreman. Uh, yeah, we'll force feed our Bacillosaurus some raw meat to get its health back up. These guys are looking good. I can force feed them a little bit. But they have enough food for now. Um, we do have Ambergus in the fridge and we can always just TP back up there and take our pickaxe. Alright, let's force feed this. Bring you guys back when we're done here. Um, and we're going to do the beta version. Alrighty guys, we are good to go. Um, we actually don't have the other baby Bacillosaurus that we raised. So I thought we had found it with this group, but apparently it's not here. So yeah, none of these other Bacillosauruses have imprinting on them. Uh, which sucks because, you know, they were our stronger ones. I'm trying to get the say hello on Elena. Come here, lady. Got it. Alright, three hex 300 hexagons. Alright, we're going to do the Moser proposal beta. Uh, who are we jumping on? You? So, let's go. Alright. So, yeah, we've just got our lower leveled one that we, um... That we decided to bring with us. So, hopefully it'll help us out a little bit. But I do have a feeling that we should be okay with... Just the one we have. I don't know. I also don't know how much stronger the beta version is. So, we might be in serious danger. I guess we'll find out with this first initial fight down here. Um, if we can't take it, we'll definitely back off and just leave it. Um, but if we can, then I don't see why we shouldn't try and take it on. I'm just a bit worried about getting into the depths again and everything swarming us. The donkey's horse gone. No, it doesn't look like it. Are you getting attacked or something? No. Alright, so yeah, let's see how strong it is down here. Um, and we can figure it out from here. But I've got, a, I've got a gut feeling that we're not going to do too good this time around. As good as the Gamma anyway, so I'm a little bit scared, but we'll see what happens. Alright, and we've started taking depth damage. Um, I can see the Moza just ahead though. I'm pretty sure that's the Moza just up there. Possibly, I don't know. We don't want to jinx it. Is that telling us to go up? Yeah, so that's the Moza there. Alright. Let's see how much damage we do to it. And how much damage it does to us. Okay, so we, I mean, we could still probably take this. It does deal a little bit more damage. Was that 231 from it? Yeah, it was probably from attacking the other Bacillosaurus. Dude, do you want to help? Yeah, I see what you mean about not being able to use these guys for motor though, because if this guy's not even helping us attack the, the Moza here, because he's taking the underwater damage, then we're definitely not going to be able to use these guys with just ourselves. Because yeah, he's not doing anything, because he's taking that damage, so he's not listening to our whistles. Uh, we'll try and whistle neutral, but I don't think it's going to do anything, but I should still be able to take this Moser out anyway. It's kind of taking the same sort of damage that the Gamma Tuso did, but yeah, this Bacillosaurus is pretty much useless because we don't have anyone else riding on it. So that kind of sucks, but I still see us being able to kill this beta version. I just need to find an O2 bubble real quick. I don't know what to do. I don't know if we drag this guy along with us. Or if we just go by ourselves, because if I leave him here, we'll probably lose him. Then again, it isn't that great of a leveled uh, Bacillosaurus. I don't remember if this was the male, though. Alright, I need to try and find some oxygen. I'm not seeing any bubbles. Okay, I see bubbles. We'll just swim through these. go. Alright, we no longer need oxygen. Cool. Yeah, I don't think this Bacillosaurus is really doing anything for us. Okay, there's the tracks. I'll just decide where they go. Alright, so Ring goes back when we're at the Moser again. But this also does not look like that we'll need, uh... Oh, he's back here. Doesn't look like we'll need to be fighting anything else. I mean, even if it acts as a tank, 
Why is it taking all this damage again? Oh, you know why? Because it's got some Moza friends. Is that a normal Moza? This is the brute Moza back here. That's just a normal Moza. Okay, let's just ignore that guy and we're just going to focus on the big fella. I don't really care even if that thing just acts as a punching bag for us. It's fine. But yeah, we're still chunking him pretty hard. Like, I think we're doing pretty good damage to him. Okay, well there goes our Basilosaurus, the, the other one. I, I'm not too worried about it dying though, because, you know, it's just nothing really too crazy, but... We should be able to... I'm just a bit worried about this Moser. If that normal one stays around, we're going to be in trouble. But we're going to try and outswim it when we get this guy running away, because I'm assuming there's only one more fight phase after this. Yeah, because he's trying to run away now. Alrighty guys, here we go. Final battle with the Brute Moser. I'm not seeing anything else down here except obviously his little live Pluridon minions. We're at half health, so I think we should be okay. I'm hoping. I don't know how much damage the live Pluridons do, but they're not seeming to hit us. Alright, let's kill these little guys first, because it'll make things a lot easier. And they take a lot of they, they have a lot of health too. I mean if I can hit all three, that'd be great, but I'm a bit worried about our health here. I think this is the last fight. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you know why we're hitting for less? Because we lost the mate boost. That's why. Uh, that's why. Okay. That sucks. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll be alright. I mean, worst case scenario, we swim away from these guys. We should be able to kill them, though. Um, it just sucks that we lost the, the sort of mate boost that we had. And I think these guys are also mate boosted at the moment. But we're taking a little bit of tick damage from the, the depths. Um, so we'll see how we go, but... I'm pretty sure I have to kill all three of these guys for the mission to be complete. So let's get these Lyra Pluridons out of the way. Just have to keep an eye on our health at the same time. I'm just going to swim around instead of sitting still because if I can hit the Mosasaur at the same time, it'd probably be easier. See how we're hitting him in his tail? If we can stick like that definitely have a better chance of killing him, especially if we can actually kill him. It looks like he's stuck in a bubble. Right, I mean, the brute, the Moses is almost dead. We're not taking too much damage here fighting this. The only damage we're taking at the moment is from the ticks. From the being underwater. Okay, we took a bit of a bite there. Come on. I don't really want to lose the Bazzy. Am I better off just face tanking this? Come on, come on. Done. We did it. We're at a thousand health. We should be able to survive this if we can just surface. Oh my god. All right. I'm just going to force feed him. It shouldn't mitigate some of the... No? Why is he just taking damage? Why is he taking damage when we're force feeding him? We should be fine. Oh, Ascendant Long Neck. Alright, let's just wait for our stamina to come back here a second. Oh, talk about bloody close. Jesus. Alright, can I swim now? I'm just going to swim straight up. I don't really want to fight anything. We just need to try and surface here so that um, our, Mosa, our Basilosaurus doesn't die from depth damage. We're also running out of oxygen. Okay, I think we're good. Whew. That was super close and super scary. Uh, I'm just trying to surface here. There's a bunch of vortexes. I should probably look for water oxygen bubbles instead. Did I bring the flippers? We have three oxygen. No, don't tell me a vortex is grabbing me. Oh, you're fucking joking. Come on. 
Come on. Surface. Alright, I think we made it. I think we're good. Whew. Alright, well that was, uh... That was quite a moment. Not gonna lie, that was genuinely terrifying. I did not think we were gonna make that. I thought we were gonna die. Alright, we're gonna get back to base. We definitely need to let our Moser re uh, Basilosaurus rest for a little bit. Oh, he, 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 he cut it close, but he got there in the end. I'm glad we managed to get there. Because, um, yeah, that means we got the beta done. But let's head over here. Check out Magmasaurs. Let the Bazzy rest for a while because it's going to need it. But uh, super stoked how we managed to survive that. Oh, I did not want to lose our imprinted Bazzy. All right, let's come over here. Magmasaurs are ready for another imprint. Let's take a look at the loot we got. Carbonemus Saddle. Kaiden Armor, Dodic Saddle, and Die Bear Saddle, that's nice. Some flat gear, Giga Saddles, nice. Uh, more Hazmat gear, a Long Neck Rifle, Parasol Saddle, Packy. Journeyman Trophio Nathus with 200 damage, damn, I wish we had Tropios here. Um, and it's surrounded on Saddle. I think I liked the loot better last round, but I mean, if we had a Tropio, I would definitely be putting that saddle on him. For now though, let's get this guy here. You just chill there, you... Get this guy under your reins. Done. All right, cool. So, yeah, that was definitely an intense moment. I was not expecting to survive that. Um, I'm glad how bad he did, though. That's for freaking sure. So, let's just climb up all here. That was very fast. Oh, it's because we had the flippers on. All right. Let's put that on. All right, cool. So, let's imprint on our magmas. Um, hopefully, they have enough food. I don't think they're going to need more food to raise. I think they'll be all right. Um, you're done. What about you? Do you really want to go on a walk? Oh, I guess we'll do it. Come on. It's just going to get through all these bloody blood stalkers. There we go. Done. Uh, you want ambergris? Done. All right, cool. So another 10% imprinting. They're at 30%. So we'll probably, yeah, we'll miss out on 10% imprinting, I reckon. Uh, just because we haven't been present for... Um, all their imprints. So, I mean, not we have been present for them, but the timer doesn't tick over. So, that kind of sucks. But, nonetheless, I think today was really good. We managed to do two more missions. How much? 17,000. So, not bad. Not bad. Um, but, yeah, we managed to do two more missions. So, I'm happy with that. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.